Hello, and in this demo I'm going to show you how to import into Eclipse the application that's generated by the Apache ISIS Quick Start archetype. So let me switch over to Eclipse. And there are two prerequisites. One is that you need the M2E, Maven 2 Eclipse plugin. And the second is that you need to have uh, the Data Nucleus plugin installed also. Uh, Data Nucleus is a, an ORM and uh, the JDO object store in ISIS uses that for doing the persistence. If I go to Windows Preferences you can see that there's a section there. Okay, so the first thing to do will be to import the project. Uh, the Maven archetype obviously produces a Maven project so we can go File Import Project Existing Maven Projects and I need to specify the directory where I generated the application to and the wizard's going to find the parent project module and all the submodules. There they all are. Hit finish. And so we've got a number of projects. The DOM project is the domain object model, that's where most of the goodness is. And uh, we have fixtures, we have some implementations of repositories, and we have the application itself, the, war, the thing that builds up the war file. But let me just spin back to the domain object model. There's one bit of configuration I need to do here, because I need to tell Data Nucleus to enhance the files. The enhancement process is basically um, to, for the lazy loading and dirty object tracking that it does for us. So there are a couple of steps to this. First is to go Data Nucleus add Data Nucleus support. The next step is to again go down there and turn on enable auto enhancement and then the final thing that we need to do in fact things have worked fine there but just to be safe if we go to uh, the persistence.xml file which is a standard JDO configuration file we have a, a persistence unit setting here we need to copy that and if we now go to the project properties uh, then we go to the enhancer section. We can just specify a value there. Okay, so that's good. I think what I'm going to do is just force an update of everything just for good measure. Well, I don't think I probably needed to in this particular case. Clean all projects and rebuild. And as that completes, let me go to the next bit we're going to run which is to run up the, run up the application and uh, the way I prefer to do this is that we provide a launch file which is a run configuration file which you can find in the web app application I can right click on this and I can go run as or I can go debug as the uh, launch file there and this is going to bootstrap Jetty running the application deployed on port 8080 so that will be up and running in just a second, there we are let me now go back to a web browser, navigate to localhost 8080, and there's our application. Right click into, say, the Wicked Viewer here, and we're at our prompt, and we can log in as Sven, our super user. Okay, so that's how you get up and running. Uh, bringing your application into Eclipse. Thanks, bye-bye.